What's going on everyone? I am back here with another what um some movie review. Well not really a movie review, but some Blu-rays I'm gonna show that I picked up last month. Um I am pretty positive this is all the Blu-rays I got over the last uh, month. And I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you guys and tell you which ones I've seen, which ones I haven't seen. Um the ones I've seen are open. Open. I actually opened one that I was gonna watch, but I never got um, to any time to watching it. But I will watch it and I will review it. So let's go ahead and let's get this video started of the Blu-rays that I um, newly own. So first up here, I believe Summit Entertainment, Summit in a, in Entertainment, wrote it. Not a hundred percent sure if the Made it. I think Lionsgate was the one that produced it. But it's a movie starring Jason Momoa, and that is Braven. This was excellent. Everything I wanted out of Jason Momoa action movie. This one I heard about last year, and I was super intrigued. It didn't come to the list near me. I had a win on the Amazon video, and I really enjoyed it. I couldn't wait for the Blu-ray to come out, and I finally got it on April 10th or 11th. 11th when I went to Walmart to grocery shop and this was an amazing movie i love this i would definitely can't wait to give it a watch and have a spoiler review of it i've never done a spoiler review before so braven's definitely gonna be one of my ones that i do next up is a movie here that starts dennis craig jim caviso and i got this at best buy for like five bucks pretty cheap um i don't think i've ever seen it i may have seen it at one point but i love time travel movies and that is frequency I think this is a time travel movie. Yeah, it's a time travel movie. I'm really I really do like time travel movies. Um I'm Dennis Quaid, I haven't seen in a while. I mean movies and Jim Caviezel I've always been a fan of. So yeah, um frequency is definitely one that's on my list to watch. Um, whenever I have a chance to watch them. Next up here is the movie that stars El Pacino, Carl Urban, Britney Snow. And this movie wasn't too bad. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really fun movie. And that is Hangman. Hang, Hangman, Hangman. Um, that basically follows the plot of your average police detective movie. In which they have to find a killer. But this one's a little more intriguing. And a little more interesting in my opinion. But... It wasn't a bad movie. Would I watch it again? I'm not 100% sure if I would watch it again. But it wasn't a terrible movie. I can see why I got the rating it did on Amazon Video. Alright, next up is a movie that stars Steven Yen, um, Glenn from The Walking Dead. Which I've only watched The Walking Dead like a couple of times. And the only reason I watched this is because Jeff Edith Morgan was sneaking. And because I love Loma Cohan in that show. I think she's amazing. I can't wait to see her. Mile 22. That's going to come out this year with my second favorite actor, Mark Wahlberg. And this movie stars, like I said, Stephen Yen and Samara Weaving. I like Samara Weaving. I always have ever since I saw her in The Babysitter. And that's a movie called Mayhem. I have not seen this yet, and I really want to watch it. It reminds me of the Belko Experiment. So much of the Belko Experiment whenever I saw this movie at Walmart. And yes, I did open it, or I didn't open it, about, but my brother opened it, and I don't believe if he watched it or not, because we were going to watch it one day, and um, we just never got um, through watching it, but this movie looks like it's going to be incredible. I can't wait to check this out. Next up is a movie I picked up a Big Lots, me and my grandma did, for about three bucks, yeah. And it's a movie that stars Bruce Willis and Colin Farrell. And this movie, I don't know if I've seen yet. I might have, but I'm not 100% sure. But I do love watching war movies. And that's Hearts War starring, like I said, starring Bruce Willis and Colin Farrell. And Bruce Willis has always been an actor that I really like watching. I really liked him in the new Death Wish movie. And I thought he did a fantastic job in that. I can't wait to pick that up next month. And this one... Looks like it's going to be interesting, so I need to open this and watch it. Next up is a movie that's probably super underrated this year, and one that I definitely need to review, but I need to re-watch it because I didn't 
really understand like a bunch of it that much, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. And that is small town crime starring John Hawks. Anthony Anderson, Kelvin Collins Jr., Robert Forster, and Octavia Spencer. This movie was pretty intense, and I love like these crime thriller driven movies where he has to where they have to find out what happened in a certain in a certain place. But this movie looks, I mean, not blood looks, but this movie was incredible when I when I first watched it, and I want to rewatch it because I want to review it for you guys. I was gonna review it after I watched it, but I was too busy doing stuff. I'm definitely gonna review it after I watch it again. And then last but not least, we got a super underrated movie here that I also picked up a bit lots um, last month. It stars Gabriel Mock, Robert Patrick, and Christana Loken. She's the um chick from the she's the um what was her name in the Terminator Three? I forgot what her name in Terminator Three was, but she was the um Chick Terminator and um, Terminator 3, and I really liked her in Terminator 3, and that SWAT firefight. Um, this one was super underrated. I really enjoyed this one, that's why I picked it up. I really like the SWAT movies. The first SWAT was super underrated. Um, Jeremy Renner's performance was the best um, out of all the performances. In this one, Robert Patrick is a great villain. Um... So yeah, I definitely check this one out, guys, if you haven't seen it. But I really like this one, and that's why I have it in my Blu-ray collection. Well, guys, let me know what you all think of my um, Blu-ray pickers. Have you guys seen any of those movies? Do you guys want to see any of those movies? If you do, um, just comment below. Let me know if you've seen them. Let me know if you want to see them. Um, I can tell you all about them, but I won't spoil it. So, guys, I saw Adventures of Fantasy World over the weekend. It was an enjoyable movie. I just didn't really care for the ending that much. But hey, what are you going to do? It didn't look like that. So um, we're going to have to see what happens in Avengers 4. I'm also going to be doing a trailer reaction to Ant-Man and the Wasp. The trailer drops tomorrow. I cannot wait to watch that trailer and review it for you guys. The Equalizer 2 comes out in July. I'm going to have more movie reviews coming for you. Either the Blu-ray um, theater releases or anything. Um, but I will have a ton of reviews coming for you guys. So guys, if you enjoyed my video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. And you know what to do if you um, like my videos. Just click, just click on my name to see more or click on my channel to see more. Um, Chris Duckman has a new video out that I really enjoyed. Um, he's a great YouTuber. I can't wait to um, watch more of his videos whenever he does more movie reviews. Um, he really inspired me to become a YouTuber and to uh, make more videos about myself. Not being shy. And um, not really talking fast, but talking in a really depth um, voice. And Chris Duckman is an amazing YouTuber. Can't wait to watch more of his video, like I said. I know I repeat myself, but I don't give a shit. Um, so guys, have a great day, and as always, stay, um, stay blessed. Peace.